This is Texas just upping the ante. First of all, they took over Shelby Park. They put razor wire like the one that you see behind me. And now they are arresting migrants for criminal trespass. Has warned that it has, uh, Texas has until tomorrow to allow federal agents back into this park. We'll be here. Or what? In addition to these governors with us here today, the following governors have also provided either military personnel or law enforcement personnel. Governor Lee from Tennessee, Governor Little from Idaho, Governor DeSantis from Florida, Governor DeWine from Ohio, Governor Sanders from Arkansas, Governor McMaster from South Carolina, Governor Yunkin from Virginia, Governor Justice from West Virginia, Governor Mark Gordon from Wyoming, Governor Burgum from North Dakota. All together, counting Texas, we have 15 governors in 15 states from the United States that are deploying personnel to secure the border. Altogether, if you add in the other states that are supporting this mission, 25 governors and 25 states, the states of the United States of America are banding together to step up and secure a border that President Biden has abandoned. Okay, so we have a battle going on down there at the border. We have Texas supported by dozens of other states going against Joe Biden and trying to secure the border because Joe Biden has open border policies, particularly down there in Texas. The policies of Joe Biden over the last three years have been to keep Texas wide open to flood Texas with illegal immigrants because over there in Democrat run Arizona, Biden was actually building wall. I actually covered that some months ago. He's actually building walls, secretly building wall in Arizona. But in Texas, he wants minimal fencing. Texas put up buoys. They put a razor wire. They put the buoys in the Rio Grande and the federales, Joe Biden's agents, Debo, the Texas agents, and they actually remove the wire. They removed the bar any barriers that Texas set up. The federales removed all the barriers saying, you don't run anything here. We don't care if this is the state of Texas. Move out the way, shut the hell up, and let us tell you how things are going to work in your state. So Biden has these catch and release policies. Basically, he allows anybody coming in illegally to claim that there are an asylum seeker saying, oh, they trying to kill me. Oh, things are so bad. And we even have them trying to say they're environmental asylum seekers. I don't even know what the hell that means. <laughs> but they don't even have to duck the federal rallies. They just come in, find a border station, get caught on purpose. And they say, look, I'm an asylum seeker, even though they're not. And the feds say, okay, well, we're going to give you permission to be in the United States. You can travel anywhere in the United States, but you're going to have an asylum court hearing in about eight or nine years. So 2024, you have permission from Joe Biden to travel throughout the U.S., to be in the U.S., to not get deported and come back to see us in like 2033, maybe 2034, something like that. But in the meantime, enjoy your stay and make sure that you vote because we don't even check out these because we claim that it's racist. So make sure that you vote for Joe in the next election, even though you're an illegal immigrant and even though <laughs> you really shouldn't even be here. But now Texas is fighting back because Texas realizes the game that they're being flooded with illegal immigrants. Biden, the Democrats, the DNC have a long term agenda to turn Texas into a purple state and eventually a blue state like they did with Arizona, like they did with California, flood them with illegal immigrants, give them all types of free crap and then say, look, remember the DNC, remember Joe Biden, remember the Democrats gave you free Obama phones, we gave you food stamps, we gave you all types of crap and we didn't deport you. So remember to vote for us. So these illegal immigrants are going to vote. A lot of them are voting two out of three for the Democrats. And then their children are going to vote. Their children are going to love Democrats. They're going to be hardline left-wing activists. So that's the plan. And Texas realizes that. So Texas is fighting back. Texas has been disputing with the federales with Joe Biden for the last couple of years. So now they've up. So now they've launched something called Operation Lone Star. So let's look at an excerpt from the official Texas website about Operation Lone Star. Governor Greg Abbott, the Texas Department of Public Safety, and the Texas National Guard are continuing to work together to secure the border, stop the smuggling of drugs, weapons, and people into Texas, and prevent, detect, and interdict transnational criminal activity between ports of entry. 
Since the launch of Operation Lone Star, the multi-agency effort has led to over 420,800 legal immigrant apprehensions and more than 33,600 criminal arrests with more than 30,500 30, felony charges reported in a fight against fentanyl. Texas law enforcement has seized over 426 million lethal doses of fentanyl during this border mission. So you can see here, they're talking about how many they've sent. They sent tens of thousands of migrants to these left-wing cities, to these quote unquote sanctuary cities who claim to love illegal immigrants, but don't even want them there. So that's Operation Lone Star. And recently, Texas has issued a new law, which becomes effective in March. Texas is giving permission to officers, Texan officers, to arrest and deport illegal immigrants. And Biden really hates this. They're really crying, they're bitching, they're saying, no, you can't do this, you don't have the authority. And on top of that, Biden and the federalities, they accused Texas of being responsible for the deaths. There were three migrants crossing the Rio Grande and they died. They drowned in the river because they shouldn't be crossing it to begin with, it's very dangerous, but they drowned there. First they said, well, you were on the Texas side and Texas wouldn't let help in, so it's Texas. Well, then they switched their story. Now they're saying, well, okay, we acknowledge they were still in Mexico when it happened, but Texas blocked Border Patrol from going over there to help them. The Border Patrol could have saved them. Texas saying, no, these people already did well before Border Patrol showed up. So now Texas has seized this entire area. They seized this big piece of land down there in the Eagle Pass area, this park on the border. And this area is one of the largest areas one of the largest points of entry for illegal immigrants and this is an area that's been hotly contested for over the last couple of years this is an area that texas has been complaining about trying to secure themselves but the federal rallies have been blocking them allowing these immigrants to come in so it's right there in eagle pass and on the other side you have a city in mexico big city in mexico called piedras negras so texas said you know what damn y'all we're taking control of this and we're going to control who comes in our state and we're going to block these illegal immigrants so we're going to look at this news clip to see what the hell's been going on this confrontation between the federal rallies and texas so let's take a look the battle over whether individual states can take matters into their own hands when it comes to border security that issue now centered on a public park in south texas members of the texas national guard have taken over the area and they're refusing orders from the biden administration to let u.s border agents in national correspondent mara sirianni is tracking this story for us this morning hey mara good morning yeah guys good morning we have some new images from overnight we'll show you in just a second but safe to say that tensions are certainly uh escalating between texas Texas state officials and the federal government troopers there are actually now arresting migrants um, in the Shelby Park area for the first time since the state took control of that area last week. So let's give you uh, I should pull up a map here of what we're talking about. Again, this is a Shelby Park area um, along the U.S. Mexico border. The Texas National Guard has now taken over um, this park in the city of Eagle Pass and their troopers have also been refusing access to Border Patrol agents. They've also put up a fence there, but this is that new New video just before 11 o'clock last night a spokesman with the texas department of public safety posting the images on x see uh, shows migrants here being handcuffed and then hauled off by authorities with the caption quote under the authority of governor greg abbott's border disaster declaration troopers are arresting illegal immigrants for uh, criminal trespass at shelby park he goes on to say quote troopers are arresting single adult men and women and says the state of texas will remain proactive in curbing illegal border crossings between the ports of entry. So Lieutenant Chris Oliver is explaining further the arrests are taking place on private land where the landowner granted the uh, state authority to apparently make these arrests and it all comes on the heels of the Biden administration informing the Texas state officials that they had until the end of the day Wednesday to stop blocking federal border patrol agents access to a two and a half mile stretch of land along the U.S. Mexico border which included that stretch of land near Shelby Park where a woman and two children uh, drowned last week in the Rio Grande. So Texas Attorney General uh, Ken Paxton in a letter to Homeland Security said the state plans to continue ignoring orders from uh, federal officials to cease and desist the state like I mentioned even putting up a fence now and has Texas National Guard members um, manning the fence and manning that gate again preventing Border Patrol agents on the federal level from doing their job so the Biden administration says that Border Patrol should be the job of uh, fe the federal government Texas state officials say the federal government's not doing its job um, so that's why they 
mayor stepping in. In the meantime, though, the Department of Justice also stepping in, filing an injunction to get the Supreme Court to intervene here and get federal agents back into the park. An appeals court, though, ordered the agents to stop removing razor wire while legal challenges played out. And again, A.G. Paxton uh, last night responding to all of this in a message to federal officials. He said that Texas, quote, will not surrender. Guys. Good luck with the federal rallies trying to boss around a state, especially in a situation like this. The best they can do is maybe strike some type of deal with Texas or actually secure the border. Texas is backed by 25 states, dozens of states support Texas in this endeavor. And a couple of more might join Texas because these states realize that these left-wing activists, these Democrats, are just trying to dictate what goes on in Republican states. They don't give a damn about what the people down there in these cities are actually doing, how they're living, what's daily life like, what type of struggles are going on. You're bringing in crime, they're bringing in drugs, overdoses of fentanyl, the cartels are down there in Texas trying to run things. But the federal rally is just like, look, I don't give a damn about it in here. Like oh, Texans are being subjected to things with the cartels and gangs and stuff like that, fentanyl pouring in, weapons, illegal weapons pouring in from Mexico and the Texas. Oh, we don't give a damn. We just need illegal immigrants to come into Texas so we can win Texas in a future election. They don't give a damn about anything else but their own left-wing power, their own authoritarianism. But this scenario right here, this is the federalist's worst nightmare. States not bowing down to them. You got 25 states defying the federalities. It started with Texas and dozens of other states have shown, Joe, if you stand against Texas, we stand with Texas. We're going to pick another state. We're going to pick Texas over the federalities. So... It's tough for the federal rallies. Obviously, nobody is looking for a civil war. You got people out here talking about, well, this is the start of a civil war. Who knows? But many of the people in Texas, in the government, the civilians in Texas, they are definitely looking for a succession. There's this big movie called Texas, where a large percentage of the Texas population is like, look, man, let's get away from the United States, away from the federal rallies. We got all these left-wing activists, all these New York and California left-wing style policies are infiltrating our states. We got people who set these left-wing ludicrous policies in California. They run California to the ground by voting for dumbasses like Gavin Newsom. And then they'll say, oh, California sucks. So I'm going to move to Texas and continue voting for the same left-wing lunatics. So Texas is trying to get away. A lot of people in Texas are trying to get away from the United States. They're saying, look, we can sustain ourselves. We're a massive state. We can sustain ourselves. And if Texas was to do something like that, it's very likely that several other states would join Texas because they'd rather be with some entity like that than to be stuck with these left-wing lunatics who are running the federal government and who are running big cities and big states like California and New York. But it's crazy how when Governor Abbott of Texas, when he mentioned all these states sending support, he, he didn't mention Illinois, he didn't mention New York. These are two of the biggest states, and these states are run by left-wing activists. These voters keep putting in activists, left-wing lunatics in power, and they've been hit with hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants. We got Mary Eric Adams of New York always crying, always complaining about the illegal immigrants. Brandon Johnson of Chicago, he's trying to call Greg Abbott wicked and saying it is raggedy what Texas is doing by sending these illegal immigrants up to Chicago, even though these illegal immigrants signed paperwork saying that this is what they want, this is where they want to go. But these states do all this crying, they do all this complaining. They're not sending help down there to Texas. And they damn sure aren't going to say anything about Biden. They're not going to go against what Joe Biden is doing because they don't want to be blackballed by the larger Democrat Party. They want to be blackballed by the DNC and lose their money, their future careers. So in this particular issue of Texas going against the federalities, they're going to sit here quietly and turn the other way. They're not going to send help to Texas, but they're going to complain when they have to spend money on illegal immigrants, even though they claim they welcome these people with open arms. So we're going to see what happens next with this whole thing. Joe Biden gave Texas this ultimatum. Oh, you got it until Wednesday. Well, today is Friday. <laughs> and people were saying, or what? What are the feds going to do? Well, a lawyer for the Department of Homeland Security sent a strongly worded letter to the Texas Attorney General saying, you guys have defied us. You guys don't do what we say. So we're going to go cry to the Supreme Court. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> so, like I said, we'll see what happens next. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. Are we headed towards civil war? Peaceful divorce. Is the Texas succession movement going to grow stronger? Or is Joe Biden going to actually do his job? Leave me your thoughts below about this whole thing. Share the video. Thanks for watching.